So here's another one for you before I go to bed. Jung writes in its lit literature that the best way to, or one, one of the most important steps in achieving individuation is the integration of the shadow archetype. The shadow archetype is all of those things that we repress that stem from a previous unconscious existence, uh, the, the existence that we used to share as, you know, primitive or uncivilized people, right? So violence or uh, every, everything disagreeable about human nature that we haven't reckoned with or that we don't want to reckon with because it's just like animal. So that's part of the shadow, right? But Jung, interestingly, Jung presents the case that in order to become a fully individuated person, in order, in order to become to become who you really are, become who you really are. Keep that in mind. So in order to become who you really are, you need to integrate even that archetype into your life. So integrating the shadow entails then gardening or harnessing the energy that those parts of existence provide to actually direct them towards more constructive or productive pursuits, right? Because if you were just possessed by the archetype of the shadow, you would just go amok. You would just become a criminal, right? And that's, and that's not good. Uh, so... I've been in a lot of situations where, you know, to see, so, so the problem is that most, most men from my generation had to teach themselves how to be their own dad, or they had to get surrogate father figures from, I don't know, from fucking media and shit. That's why Jordan Peterson is popular, because what, what by the fucking do? It's a fucking father figure in little consumable YouTube videos, right? Like, oh, somebody sat down with you to discuss responsibility. So, wow, what a fucking novel concept. It is a little bit sad that a lot of people never actually even had that in their lives, right? Because of an abusive or absent or uh, neglecting father, right? My father never even taught me to drive. Like, someone else had to teach me to drive. What are the odds? So, so you know... And in Jungian literature, he presents a bunch of stories. What I love about Jung is that he quotes stories and tales to illustrate the archetypes. And so he presents a lot of stories where the hero conquers through reversal of the of, of the of the enemies' powers towards them, through taking their bath energies and flipping it flipping them on them so take note of that so sometimes sometimes the, the best way to achieve victory in shit is to look at what your enemy is doing and make them dig their own grave out of that for example like if you're if you're dealing with somebody who's like making you, who's trying to make you look like an asshole, to, trying to make you look like a bitch. Take those ideas and enact them purposefully and loudly in public in such a way that they feel scorned, in, so, in such a way that they feel offended by your display of energy. So it's like, okay, you want to make me look like a bitch? Guess what? Here's your fucking... Here's, here's what you fucking wanted. You fucking happy now? So... And it's, it's strange because I've seen it. I've seen it happen a lot of times in my life. Situations where... Someone is trying to make my life hell. And I power through that shit. And I defeat them. Because a part inside of myself takes over. The archetype of the fool, right? A part inside of myself takes, takes over and I just perform something that just punches them in the balls. But it's what if I told you that it's completely unconscious? It's something that just 
sort of takes hold of things. And that's what, you know, so that's why you need to integrate that energy. The best lesson that your father can teach you is how to, how to hurt people. A gentleman is a person who's got a sword and they can hurt. They will keep it cheated because they're kind. But if a wolf, if a coyote is trying to mold your family, they will give them hell. They will hurt them. Like uh, this, this n new male uh, pink apron um, masculinity idea of shit, it's, it's, it's perverted because they're trying to annihilate masculinity. They're trying to uh, tell men that, yeah, there's nothing wrong if you get into the kitchen and cook shit and stuff, which is true, but as we, as every, every good lie has, has only a tiny speck of truth, right? So if you're not conscious about that, they take the whole idea of new masculinity and they like twist them on, like they flip the whole thing on you and then you're gone as a man. Like, uh, like I get, I get where the, you know, where the pink apron shit's coming from. But I think that it's kind of like stupid to, to try to, because it almost become a, becomes a humiliation ritual, right? And the best thing that you can teach to your young, to the young man in your life is how to hurt. Because you need to be able to hurt because shit is going to turn bad. And what punch con, when, when punch comes to show, you gotta, you, sometimes you gotta fuck a bitch up, right? So remember everyone, flip, flip the evil shit onto them, okay? If they're, if they're assholes to you, as you make your exit, give them a gift. <laughs> if they, if they think that you're like fucking stupid, if they try to tell you how, how shit you are, bake something delicious and feed it to them. The Bible says that you should be positive towards your enemy as they're trying to hurt you because it is just as if you were placing hot coals upon their heads. So, so keep that in mind. Thanks for listening, everyone.